All right, all right, ladies, gentlemen, citizens of the Empire, welcome back to Red Dead Redemption 2. How you doing? I hope you're doing all right. Nobody here is doing good. It's time we uh talk to Tre Trelawney. He looks a little forlorn. Josiah? I, um, I was, uh... Leaving again? Yes, just leaving. I'll see you soon. <coughs> Perhaps. Uh, what do you mean? Well, if I was you, I'd disappear too. This is all pretty much over. <laughs> well, I'll be back. No, you won't. Let's not pretend no more. Get out of here. I'll miss you, Arthur. You've been a fine friend to me. No, no let's not get over sentimental. Well, the place is quiet. Get out of here. You go with my blessing. Thank you, Arthur. <sighs> Found a friend looking for you. Mr. Morgan. Sir. How are you? A little better. I hope so. How can I help you? I'm sorry to impose on you again, but I believe I've made progress brokering peace. You have? I believe so. Colonel Favors has agreed to a meeting to discuss and maybe resolve his alleged grievances and mine. Now, he has lied to me more times than I care to remember, but maybe this time he must want peace. Why could he possibly want to humiliate us further? Well, we got words for his kind, but they're colloquial. Ah, perhaps I could make one last request. My men are not allowed to carry arms. You want us to keep the peace? Yeah, it'll be a lot of dull talking and ceremony. But I feel with some non-tribe members present, their chances of lying or worse will be reduced. Will you, Arthur? It ain't my business, brother. No, I know. But it is mine. Do it for me. Charles, I got... I've saved your life. Do it for me. <sighs> sure. Come on. You owe this man. You should have him do your negotiation. Let's go. All right. Hopefully we might be getting some calm around here at least a little bit. Sounds good. For doing this, both of you. You have already done so much. Ain't a problem. Just hope nobody recognizes me. I've had a few run-ins with the army recently. I wish we could have done more to control the situation. Dutch should not have gotten involved. My son has a mind of his own. Too much so, in fact. I just hope Colonel Favors can be reasoned with. I am not asking for very much. But when our people are sick and hungry, and we find our medicine and supplies are being deliberately withheld, how can we not view that as something personal? When they destroy our sacred sites, how can I convince Eagle Flies and the others that they shouldn't fight back? Maybe that's part of the reason they're doing these things. Because they want you to fight. To be able to say, look, you see how these savages behave? Perhaps. Thank you for helping Captain Monroe to retrieve those vaccines, Arthur. He will be at the meeting and is one person who knows the true situation, at least. I still have hope that we can come to an agreement. Well, from what I heard at that military camp, none of the American soldiers really want to be doing this, but Favors has some sort of grudge. Just in case. Here we are. There's my men up ahead. 
it. No. All right, sounds Whoa. good. Got a little bit of backup. We charge a killer now. Kola with Yampi. Hilpo. Unyapi Ktelo. This way. Let's hope this gets goes through smoothly as possible. Colonel Favors, Captain Munro, we come in peace. Hello again. Who are these two? They're uh, friends of my people. Hmm. Interesting looking fellows. Yeah, they won't cause any trouble. Well, I should hope not. <sighs> Listen, Mr. Uh, <coughs> Chief. Yes, uh, Mr. I can't say that silly name. What is it? In English, they call me Rain's Fall. Yes, yes, I'm. Uh, I'm sure they do. Listen, we're all Americans here, and we want an outcome. But quite frankly, quite frankly, I, I'm confused. Your men are little more than criminals, in my opinion. <gasps> Keep breaking peace treaties we've made, causing disturbances in everybody's lives. But I pride myself on being a gentleman. Really, I do. But there are limits. So let me be very... <coughs> you okay, man? Someone. Jackson, take him away. Where was I? You're gentlemen with limits? Are you being facetious, sir? Come this way, buddy. I said, are you being facetious, Captain Monroe? No, sir, I am not. Chief Rains. That's, uh, <gasps> Rains fall. Exactly. Chief Rains, the thing it's quite is, a cough. Federal government. Sure. Wait here. I'll fetch you some water. I'll, I'll be fine. Thank you. No, no. You know he's going to have Monroe court-martialed. Or attempt to. He's going to make a disgrace of him. Monroe? He seems likable enough for a West Pointer. Why? You know what Favors is like. Because he thinks it's right. Because he thinks Monroe is a patsy. Or a spy. He's convinced he had something to do with those vaccines getting stolen. He thinks Monroe is gonna force him into making a concession with the Indians. So he removes Monroe. Removes how? Favors wants him tried for treason and hanged. Why does Favors care about the Indians? Because he doesn't want to back down. I mean, his whole professional life. You know what they say about him. Hightail Favors, the man who missed a battle. Poor Monroe. Kinda liked him. I know. Well, still, he's kinda stuck up. Your men violated the treaty. That treaty is null and void. I have been appointed to negotiate. Feeling better? Yeah. Come on. <coughs> Let's go. <coughs> the lands you currently occupy belong to the United States government. Why is this so confusing, sir? Why? Good day, Colonel Favors. Well, that was remarkably unproductive. <clears throat> so I'm afraid the federal government was quite clear, Colonel, that it wanted peace, and peace for all, and that the treaty had not been broken by anybody. Oh, is that so, sir? And did it want impudence, sir, from a junior officer in public? Was that its plan, too, sir? You insult me. You insult the regiment. Arrest this man. Arrest me? Gross insubordination. Disobeying an order. Treason. Are you mad? You had those vaccines stolen. You disrupted a negotiation. 
Let him go. This is all getting out of hand. Hi, right, Captain Monroe. Let's get out of here. Aye, if aye. I were you, I'd keep my mouth shut, amigo. I don't want to kill this man, but shout. Get off me. Charles, Captain Monroe, mount up now. We're getting out of here. Okay. I got a shot. You won't get away with this. Go, okay? uh, you Let's get going. Oh, oh, easy. Holy shit. All right. Real violent, real quick. I know he said he can't shoot him, but he probably should. Back. We're getting surrounded very quickly. Took one of their horses. That just happened. I've been an army man my whole life. I heard them talking. They was gonna have you hang for treason. You can't die for those fools. And what about the chief? We'll do what we can. I guess I won't be submitting my report. I wouldn't think so. I'd say maybe post a letter from a station to Washington and then disappear. That was an unfortunate shit show. <clears throat> Get out of here. 
hear Captain Monroe? I fear it may be Mr. Monroe from now on. I'm sorry about your career. Here. Here's some money. You take it and get out of here and start a new life somewhere. I hear Tahiti's nice. Thank you. Just hop on a train to San Denis, jump on a boat, but avoid Guam. Where? Forget about it. Meet you back at camp. <coughs> Mr. Morgan! <clears throat> are you okay? Well, never better. What are you doing here? Well, I'm on my way down to Mexico. They're finally sending me on a mission. Huh. Brother Dorkins is very jealous. <coughs> 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 What's wrong? I'm, uh, uh, I'm dying, sister. Okay. Yeah, I got TB. I got it. Beating the man to death <clears throat> for a few bucks. I've lived a bad life, sister. We've all lived bad lives, Mr. Morgan. We all sin. But I know you. <laughs> you don't know me. <laughs> Forgive me, but that's the problem. You don't know you. What do you mean? I don't know, but whenever we happen to meet, you're always helping people and smiling. I had a son. He passed away. I had a girl who loved me. I threw that away. My mama died when I was a kid. And my daddy... Well, I watched him die. That weren't soon enough. My husband died a long time ago. Life is full of pain. But there is also love and beauty. What am I gonna do now? Be grateful that for the first time, you see your life clearly. <laughs> sure. Perhaps you could help somebody. Helping makes you really happy. <sighs> but I still don't believe in nothing. <laughs> Often, neither do I. <laughs> but then I meet someone like you and everything makes sense. <laughs> You're too smart for me, sister. <laughs> I guess uh, I'm afraid. There is nothing to be afraid of, Mr. Morgan. Take a gamble that love exists and do a loving act. All aboard. I shall try. I know you will. Goodbye. Goodbye, Mr. Morgan. Goodbye. Sister. Oh, holy hell. That was deep, man. Let's go, boy. And still all too terrifying. I can't really imagine what I'd do in Arthur's situation. It's especially with your entire life seemingly crumbling around you. Let's go up and see Charlotte. It'll be nice to get a calming and reassuring, reassuring conversation after all that shit.
What's there? A camp right up ahead? How you doing? Hello. Hey there. The fire's warm. You're welcome to share it with me. All right. You trust me then? I'll shoot you if you try anything, but... Sometimes we must trust each other, even when we don't know each other, or else we walk this life alone. For all I know, you're a thief and a killer, but I rely on my instincts to tell me otherwise. So? Yes, I see in your eyes that you're not a bad man. Well, thank you. Like I was riding through the heartlands the other day, and caught through someone's land. It looked like an old pig farm. When a couple called me over from the house. Very nice man and woman. Oh, them. Very friendly. Well, now. You would think this is fine, you know? And they keep saying that a traveler like me deserves some rest and refreshment. Inviting me to stay for dinner. I was tired and I was hungry, but mi corazonada. The feeling in my gut said no. I don't know why, but I trusted it. Yes, okay. you should have. Then the very next day... A man warns me to stay away from that place. So I live by my instincts. I'm also real fast with a gun, which helps me when the instincts fail me. <laughs> well, I've sat long enough. You rest here as long as you need. Oh, that's nice. Let's get Arthur some food. meat. Oh, wait. Let's see. Actually, how, how far are we from Charlotte? Hey, you know what? Let's keep, let's keep riding. Oh, it's gotten real dark. Yep. Yep. Yeah. If it hasn't reached more- oh, ah. shit. Oh, that's it. <laughs> okay, that wasn't fun. have to get attacked again. But I should probably keep the heavier weapons out just in case. Oh no. Oh thank God. Can I can I nope nope It's weird how the game chooses whether or not you get stuck on certain yeah. things. It, like, one large rock you trip over, fall, and kill your horse, and the next one, it's just like, nah, you're gonna stand there for a minute. Hey, they got the wrong man. You're after my brother. Taking this one in, stay out of our way. Yeah. 
You can immediately tell you crossed the border just from the message. anywhere. Right, let's stow her. Let's see how close are we this time? Oh, we're almost there. Let's uh let's make camp and try to make sure it stops raining. Look at Arthur all comfortable. she needs this time. We taught her how to hunt, how to, she knows how to cook, how to, uh, shoot too. Need lessons in robbing somebody. <laughs> Although she can get plenty of money fur trading. She's out here reading. Hello, hello, Charlotte. My, my. I was wondering when I was going to see you again. You look different. Well, the rigors of simplicity take their toll on a woman. Oh, no, I didn't mean that. No, I know. Things are going well. I couldn't have done it without you. Oh, you did it all yourself. <coughs> So how are you holding up? Ah, uh, I'm still standing. Which is an improvement on the last time you saw me. I wish that there was something else that I could do. Ma'am, you have done more than enough. Please, call me Charlotte. Arthur. Arthur Morgan. Well, you take care of yourself, Arthur. Oh, that was sweet. Please, go on in and help yourself to anything you need. What's mine is yours. Oh. Oh. Oh, that's very kind. You got some food prepared? <laughs> I 
I've never been the type to turn down a good meal for sure. Uh, no. I can't take the whiskey? Okay. Charlotte? It was a pleasure meeting you. You too, Arthur. Please be well. You too. Okay. Off we go. Where are we heading now? Our only mission seems to be down here in Saint Denis. Actually, you know what? Kind of want to get a haircut first. To just, you know, trim up, trim up the head. I didn't mean to cook. Go back. Fast travel. Oh, uh, a PD reservation. No. Where is... Did I pass it? Oh, I did. Welcome back to the city, everybody. It has been a minute. I mean, hey, at least no one here wants me dead anymore. somebody else thank god oh that beard sure looks ready for a trim that's not what i'm here what for today ah suits you wait hold on a second no back back facial hair Full styles. Oh my god. Nah, we're good. Okay, so there's nothing equivalent to hair pomade for beards. That's what I was looking for. Well, I guess we're all done. Here. Thanks, mister. And just like that, the sun is out. Hey, my horse was hitched there right for you. Hello. Hello. Good morning, ma'am. Hey, partner. Okay. Really? I just set this up. I should probably clean these at some point as well, but maybe later. Don't you worry about me. There you are. Here I am. Come on, let's go. Let's go where? And why are you so riled up? Today is a great day, Arthur. Today is the day they are going to hang Colm O'Driscoll. 
Uh, so? Rather they hang him or I shoot him. Oh, they are gonna hang him. Yeah, and not before time. That boy's been on the gallows more than most. I wouldn't count anything until his neck's broke. Well, nor would I. Which is why, despite us being wanted men, we're gonna attend the event ourselves. And follow him onto the scaffold? Well, let's hope not. But if I could see that son of a bitch breathe his last, I think I'd die a happy man. We are gonna disguise ourselves. In this? In this. Okay. Come on. Well, don't we just look the part? <laughs> we'll cut through the alley to get to the gallows. We keep our weapons holstered, our disguises on, and our wits about us. I wonder this how he got a hold of stuff. Might I say, being a fancy woman of San Denis shoots you. <laughs> I'd dress up like the Queen of Sheba if it meant seeing that son of a bitch swing. Comb hung me up, nearly butchered me. I don't mean I'm comfortable in this woolen coat. You made it out of that predicament, as I remember, Mr. Morgan. My husband weren't so lucky. That's you lost true. your husband. I lost my darling Annabelle. That poor boy, Kieran. We've all lost something because of Comb. And that is why we will shepherd him to eternity. Amen to that. Now keep those fingers off those triggers, because we'll need cool heads and calm dispositions to see this done. <laughs> Practice what you preach, brother. Whatever do you mean? Are you gonna keep your cool? Really? When you seem to lose it all so often now. This doubting and questioning of yours? I miss the old Arthur. Don't we all? You two quit it. Y'all got a job to do. And we're all in rough agreement about how we're doing it. As far as I can tell. Exactly. We'll get it done, all right. All right, then. Come on. We got a hanging to witness. I mean, I guess we agree Look more here. about it than Don't roughly. Don't the public love an execution? Yeah, this is something people always gathered for. That and church. Hey. All right, good. Now, you see that pair of assholes? Sure. They're Combs boys. Yes, I think so. What a surprise. I'm glad we're here. What are they pointing at? I don't know. We gotta follow them and find out. Yeah. Oh, here comes somebody. <clears throat> Stay here. Don't do nothing. Okay. Go brush that horse, officer. Yes, sir. The crowd came to see a show. We don't want to disappoint them. No, we do not. Yes, they did miss their chance to see John swing by his neck. Hey. Hey. You know I wasn't going to let it come to that. Seemed like I guess it. I don't know what I know no more. And I guess this isn't the time to question either my decisions or yours. Here and now, Como Driscoll's going to get his due. He's turned down there. Let's go. Quiet. I'm right here. What's it look like? Bunch of cops. How many? Enough. So what do you think? Paul's up on the roof. Once he starts shooting, we have to have our wits about us and move fast. Yeah. I guess we faced worse than this before. <coughs> sure. Let's get to it. Yeah. So, they got a guy up on the roof overlooking the gallows. Find a way up there. On one of these verandas. Through a building, maybe. And get him. And... Do it silently. Well, obviously, I'm gonna do it silently. I wanna see this bastard swing. 
Okay, well, I think there's a way up through here. Is this the same gallery that Charles had? Yes, it is. I already found a way up. Find a way up to the roof and stop him. I'll Excuse go back me, to Mrs. Adler. <clears throat> ma'am, I need to get out onto the roof. You know how I can do that? I guess you could go out on the balcony if you took the stairs up a level. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. Oh, yeah. Should be somewhere around here, right? Well, what we got here? There's the gun. Ah, oh shit! Your boss is gonna sling, I promise. Ah. Come here, you bastard. Come here. Let me slice something off you. There we go. Well, cool. there goes your escape plan. Yet justice itself can at times be barbaric. For sometimes a man is so savage, the only way to deal with him justly is by savagery. Colm O'Driscoll is one such man. He has murdered, tortured, robbed, stolen, raped, and abused for a decade across five states, seemingly with impunity. Today, justice catches up with him. Mm -hmm. <laughs> As well you may. I've been a bad man. Silence! These charges This is not a court! Where you shall be tried. This is a place where your sentence is to be carried out, and your sentence, Colmo Driscoll, is that you are to be hanged by the neck until you are dead. This is not a task we take lightly. It is not a task we enjoy, but it is a task we must carry out if our civilization is to prosper. Gentlemen, are we ready? Call Modrisk. May God, in his infinite wisdom, have mercy upon your soul. Whenever you are ready. <laughs> now you know how it feels to watch somebody you love die. You ruined my life! God damn it, Sadie! If you can hear me, shoot some of these old Driscolls! Did I get him? No, he's still alive. Where'd you guys go? That didn't kill him. There we go.
Now you get on, Arthur. Hey, Tilly. Well, we saw the bastard hang okay, but... No thing ain't gonna save us. I guess that's one less thing to worry about. I guess, compared to the entire government, in the end... Como Driscoll didn't seem like such a worry. A letter came for you. Oh, okay. I know it's from that Mary. Mary? She ain't worth it, Arthur. Who is? My dear Arthur, you never showed up. And now, after looking at the newspapers, I understand why. I don't imagine you'll receive this letter, but I nonetheless must send it. Arthur. Oh, Arthur. I was just starting to dream the silliest and softest of dreams. I miss you, and I will always miss you. But I cannot live like that. And it seems you cannot live any other way. When I'm with you, the world makes sense. But when we are apart, I see clearly that your world is not a world from which one can escape. I'm so sorry for everything. For everything long ago and for starting up that business again. There's a good man within you, Arthur. But he is wrestling with a giant. And the giant wins time and again. You've broken my heart again. And I fear I have broken yours. And for that, I will never forgive myself. But you must let me go now. I enclose a ring you gave me many years ago. When we were both young. Not because I don't like it because I care for it far too much and it reminds me too much of you. I hope one day you will find some people in love who can use this, for it kept me thinking of you all these years, and I hope by returning it to you, I can finally be free. Goodbye, Mary. Holy shit. Damn. Well, I guess that happens. Alright, what's next? Eagle flies, and he's all the way over here in Cumberland Forest. Alright, so I can fast travel to Valentine, and that will get me there straight away. I am not. I'll be okay. Hey, Mary Beth. It's gonna be all right. I feel like a prisoner here. We won't be here for too long. We just need an escape plan. Okay, Arthur. Relax. Tough times, Mr. Morgan. That they Hi, are. Susan. You okay, Susan? All those years and look at us. It's pathetic. I know. Just ain't sure what to do. Hey, Karen. Oh, look who it is. Hello, Karen. <sighs> look who it is. Oh, Arthur. Big, tough Arthur. <laughs> you want to know something, Arthur? Sure. What? I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. I had something to say. I did. Take it easy, Karen. On the hooch. Why? Because a good sober life will bring me peace and contentment? What a crock of shit this world is. No, because we, we need your wits about you, Karen. Are they over there sword fighting with sticks? Oh my god! That's so cute! Gonna get you. Two orphans. Playing at happy families. What a touching scene. Will you fuck well, off? You know, Jack, Dutch thought your pa was gold once too, till he realized he was just yelling. 
Leave my son the hell alone. You got something to say? Say it to me, you son of a bitch! Cherish every last moment with him, John. Shoot him! Oh, look. The rest of the old guard. <laughs> son of a bitch. John. Hey, John. What, Arthur? How did it come to this? I don't have a short answer to that. Well, we had a lot of good years. Fine. Now look at them hanging out. Hey, Abigail. Hello, Arthur. How you doing? No place like home, huh? What are we gonna do about all this, Arthur? Just hang in there. We'll work something out. I suppose so. We'll figure it out. We'll figure something out, at least. Alright, where is the fast travel map? At here. I have not seen it yet. Is it on the side of one of the cart? Right here. Here it is. Alright, so, gonna go to Valentine. Mm. things I need to do here. Been Firstly, hello sir. You ain't been seeing another butcher, have you? <laughs> no, no, I have not. Need you to take these pelts off Seems my hands? everyone with a rifle been hunting these of places. Right, what can I actually buy from him? I've never bought from a butcher before. Just... Okay, so just me. I mean, it makes sense, but may, may have thought he might have, you know, sold animal pelts too. But I guess that's what the trapper's for. Hey there, Mister. Right, we're gonna stop here at the gun store. Hello, sir. Wait, I know you. Do you? You won't believe this, but I got myself turned around again. Ha! Maybe somebody moved my house. Somebody moved your house, buddy. You know where I live. In front of the saloon, next to the freight station. Am I in gonna the... wanna head that way, friend, but maybe you better lay off the whiskey for a while. Just for a bit. Look who's talking. You're not in any condition to give advice. But thanks anyway. That's because of the losses. The tuberculosis. Good to see the, uh... you again, pardon. Hello, sir. So, what are you aiming for today? I just uh, want to see if any ahead. new uh, new guns are out. Repeaters. Yes. Hello. Barrel. I bet this will shoot better with some new sights. Oh, it's getting new sights. I just want to make sure everything else is up to date too. Oh, no, no, I don't want any scopes. We can do a lot with this. New trigger, brand new bolt. Your pick. Carry it with pride. Hey, woman. Don't do this to me again. I'd just like to give this a personal touch with some engraving. Hey, darling. Go on. You're not sleeping in my bed. <laughs> Unbelievable. But, but I love you. Ugh. Oh, my God. What is going on back there?
white. We're gonna go with the black. If it weren't inlay. for all the bounties running around New Hanover, I'd be out of business. Or do we want to go with a golder inlay? Eh, no, we'll go with the black. Varnish, definitely. You need anything else, let me know. Actually, actually, hold on. I oh, am, mister. You look like you've been all whiskey, no stew. You all right? I've been better, but I'm okay. All right, well, let me know what you need. Actually, let's make the hammer black. I just wasted money on that, but it's okay. Thank you, sir. Breach destroyed near hey. Fort Mercer. Hold yep. Army supply what the hell is this about? Oh, nope. Right here. Get Arthur some dinner. Hey, move it. Oh, hello. Been a while. What do you have? No Lamb's fry right for you. Hey there, hey, cowboy. Nothing. Who's nice? Who's this then? More goddamn America. Goddamn America. All right, now you put him to bed so he can go right off in the morning. Hello, sir. Hello, welcome. Oh my god, what is happening? <laughs> Do you hear that? But, okay, when, uh, and we just want to play this? Yeah. missions oh oh no 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 back 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 no online i don't want to go online back back okay but when we return we're gonna go uh help out eagle flies over there and then probably go speak to sadie so i uh, thank so much for watching ladies and gentlemen citizens of the empire uh if you're on youtube please like comment, subscribe on twitch drop me a follow if you haven't already and i'll be back in a moment mm -hmm.